hooking up with someone one month after breaking up with someone? Doesn't that seem a little fast to you? I would still be on the couch eating ice cream, watching Gossip Girl, calling my mom. Hey guys, it's Kelsey. Welcome back to another Cut Up with Kelsey. Get on the couch, get comfy, because we're about to get into it. Whoo, I had a whole story for everyone today, and now I totally forgot about it. It's just gone. What was I gonna say? Oh my gosh, guys, I feel so terrible because I have a huge announcement to make. Oh, Ocean wants to say hi too. Ocean, say hi. We have hit one year of Caught Up With Kelsey. This is literally the 52nd episode of Caught Up With Kelsey. It's been a year since I've sat on this couch. Like I literally have sat here for one year. I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching, for caring, for commenting. A year of me talking and saying what I think about pop culture news is insane. So thank you all so, so much. Let's make this another amazing year, am I right? Another Radisson roller coaster of a relationship with me. I'll take it. <laughs> Love you guys. We are talking about Bradison today and it happened while we were on our honeymoon and I literally paused our honeymoon for the Bradison breakup saga and Kyle was not happy with me. Even though you did put your two cents into it. We had a good talk about it. We officially got confirmation that Bryce Hall and Addison Rae are over. <sighs> You know how we had um, Sprouse hearts? Well, we also had Bradison hearts and they are shattered because they broke up not once, but twice. So did um, Sprouse hearts, so. Kind of seeing a pattern here, hmm. So it seems like, and there are a lot of rumors going around that Bryce has already moved on to Logan Paul's ex, Josie Canseco, who Bryce was actually spotted out with at Saddle Ranch. So it's kind of sort of adding up. Bryce recently actually addressed these rumors though on the BFS podcast with David Portnoy and Josh Richards, where he said, quote, me and Josie are good friends. We're hanging out, we're just vibing. We've been to a couple get togethers. I don't know about you, but that doesn't really seem like avoiding the question to me. It kind of sounds like he's confirming that they've either hooked up or hooking up, but they don't have a label on it. That's what it just seems like to me. In fact, it's somewhat confirmed about all these get togethers between Bryce and Josie because one person wrote into the Instagram gossip account to moi, the Instagram account that I always tell you guys about where I'm on all the time and Kyle's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, Kyle, I'm gossiping, leave me alone. That Instagram account, they wrote in saying, quote, hooking up in front of everyone at parties for the last month. Connecting the dots here, they broke up a month ago. He was spotted at Saddle Ranch with them. We've got eyewitnesses claiming that he was been going out to get togethers with her for a month. Even though Bryce wouldn't fully admit to having a thing with Josie, he did say though that both he and Addison have hooked up with other people since their split. Okay, call me old fashioned, but um, hooking up with someone one month after breaking up with someone, doesn't that seem a little fast to you? Or am I literally just that old? I would still be on the couch eating ice cream, watching Gossip Girl, calling my mom. So just when you thought the rumors were done swirling, no, they kept going because Addison was then rumored to be dating Logan Paul, who is Josie Canseco's ex. I don't know about you guys, but I haven't seen anything with Addison and Logan. Am I missing something here? Anyways, I say anyways a lot. I need some anyways merch. Caught up with Kelsey, and on the back it says anyways, dot, dot, dot. So kind of backtracking a little, as for the breakup, Bryce revealed that he was the one to end things, which I thought this was very surprising because after all the cheating allegations that Bryce went through, I would have thought that Addison would have been the one to break things off, but. I was wrong. He said, quote, I was not in the mindset for a relationship. We were going to deal with everything privately and then it became public. I really do feel for them on this given that they wanted to keep it private, but wouldn't you kind of be glad it's all out in the open? After having all the speculation, you finally get to set the record straight, which I feel like Bryce and Addison are kind of happy about. In fact, it actually became public when Addison slipped up during a recent interview where she called Bryce her ex-boyfriend, but maybe it wasn't a slip up, maybe she actually said it. She kind of said it with confidence. She didn't really slip. She didn't like take a step back and be like, oh shit, I just said ex-boyfriend and like try to save herself. She actually went on to continue to say like, boyfriend at the time. So Addison responded to the Logan Paul dating rumors by shutting it down real quick saying quote unquote, no, and kind of laughing about it. And then Bryce somewhat responded to the paparazzi about him crushing on someone new saying quote, that's such a stupid question, dude, that was an embarrassing question. But then Josie came through and said on an Instagram live talking about Bryce saying quote, Bryce is a sweetheart, incredible boy, incredible guy, and he's fun and we're friendly and we're cool and we're kind of emerging into a similar friend group. So it looks like we're getting some answers, not all of them, not all that I want, but enough to gather
together that, you know, they've both somewhat moved on, but they both seem to be pretty cordial with one another. So maybe there's hope for some Bradison reconciliation in the future, but as of now, doesn't look like it. We're gonna have to move on. Okay, we are officially into April and there are no April Fool's jokes here when I tell you that Olivia Rodrigo has dropped some new music and you know I have been listening to it on repeat because I always do. Driver's license and now deja vu. I'm not saying I have deja vu, like literally the song is called deja vu. So the High School Musical, the musical series star had fans in a frenzy after wiping her Instagram clean last week. Again, Kyle and I were on our honeymoon for this too, and I freaked the f out. <laughs> she simply left behind one cryptic video that showed an old TV with a clip of melting ice cream being played over and over again and then rewound. But then she posted two more cryptic videos after that with the same, you know, old TV set where it was replaying the video. But then our girl Olivia came through and announced that her second single is called Deja Vu and it was released on April 1st. Again, no April Fool's joke here, guys. <laughs> she said, quote, I wrote this song with my friend Dan Nigro last fall and I'm so stoked to finally share it with you all. <sighs> Just when you think Olivia has had it done with driver's license, no, 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 she won up to herself. She is driving. I don't know, I don't know. I was trying to make a joke there and you just understand what I mean, right? Cool. She's cruising, thank you. Olivia even teased some more of the song when she put it on her stories that she was in New York and all of her billboards around New York City were some lyrics saying, quote, strawberry ice cream, one spoon for two. Hmm. <laughs> I love how she's doing like Taylor Swift little Easter eggs, but this time she's taking it like literally to the New York City billboards. I mean, my girl. Earlier this month though, Olivia opened up about feeling pressure for new music following the success of Driver's License and teased a project that would come out later this year. She said, quote, I would be lying if I said I didn't feel any pressure at all after Driver's License, but I really just don't write songs for them to chart or to even put them out. I'm going to keep on making music. I have a project coming out this year, which I can't talk much about, but I'm so excited for. Additionally, Olivia is gearing up for the second season of High School Musical, the musical, the series, which will arrive in less than two months. She told Entertainment Tonight, quote, I also can't wait for them to hear this really special song I wrote for an episode. <sighs> Olivia, we can't wait either. I am on the edge of my seat. You know I'll be watching. I need to know if you will be too. Okay, next and final story of the day. I don't know about you guys, but have you been seeing those viral pictures of Sean and Camila? The couple was spotted on the set of a music video on March 29th, leading some fans to believe another Sean Miller collab is coming. Pause for gas. I am praying this is true. I need some more Sean Miller in my life. And I'm not just talking pictures, I want music. Give me, give me more. Okay, that wasn't a Sean and Camila reference, but it was a Britney Spears reference. Long live Britney, love her. I mean, the pair have been living together in quarantine for the last year, so the idea of a new collaboration, maybe a new album, which would be iconic, during this time is not too hard to believe. They've had a lot of time to work on this. They've had a lot of time to collab. They've had a lot of time to write. The magic's happening. We're just waiting for it. Put that on a shirt. So some think that Sean was just shooting his own music video and Camila was just there to support him. And they even brought their dog Tarzan along as well on set. There's pictures of him just peering through and I'm like, Ocean, why don't you do that for me? Ocean, come on set of my show. No? Cool. Why can't Ocean be more like Tarzan? Either way, we get a new Sean or Camila music video. So personally, I'm super happy about it. I just really hope that Tarzan's in the music video because I think that'll make it even more iconic than it already will be. <laughs> Sean and Camila, I'm here with all the ideas. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna close this out. Okay, thank you all so much for watching <laughs> Caught Up With Kelsey this week. Let me know down in the comments below who you want me to talk about next time. Make sure to DM me with all your tips, gossip, everything, any stories that you want me to talk about, because I'll talk about it. <laughs> make sure to subscribe to the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel and make sure to follow Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. And make sure to follow at Caught Up With Kelsey for more on Instagram because you know I'm on there. And I'll see you guys next week, bye. See, Ocean's still asleep and he won't come over here. Ocean, do you want to be the star of the show? I, I can't deal with him. The drama.